Hey, Azarin community. We are finally here with an introduction and tutorial video. So, my new keypad has finally arrived. Let's dig in. The package includes the following items. The Azalem keypad. Quick guide. Thumbstick caps. Screwdriver. And a screw for the little tower. Remember that extra screw in the accessory bag. This is where it goes. It is necessary to adjust the angle of the little town near the thumbstick. There are six thumbstick caps included in the packaging. Three of them are concave, and three of them are domed. The only difference is the length. You can swap them out easily just by pulling of the thumbstick and replacing with new one. Let's adjust the keypad to your hand. Loosen the necessary screws to adjust the keypad. These screws are for adjusting the angle between the towers. Check out the included quick guide to see which screws adjust what. They don't need to be completely out, just enough for you to be able to move the towers. These screws are for adjusting the distance between the palm wrist and the button towers. Check if you can reach all the buttons. Adjust also the thumbstick distance. Now that your keypad is set up, it's time to plug it in the PC. After plugging in, you should go to the Azarin website and download the latest software version. The website is azarin.e. Go to Downloads and download the Azarin software. Open the downloaded executable file to install the software. It will open automatically and connect to the keypad. The software will check if the keypad has the latest firmware version installed. If the firmware will need updating, it will ask you to do that automatically. The firmware installation looks like this. Choose the firmware type you wish to install. For the PC, choose PC Base. If you want to use your keypad only on console with SIM adapter, then choose SIM. Press the Update button. When it asks to reboot the keypad, you need to press the reset button at the bottom of the keypad. After successful firmware update, it will ask you to calibrate the thumbstick. It must be done after each software or firmware installation. Press begin calibration. In the first few seconds don't touch the thumbstick. At this moment you need to slowly move thumbstick in full circles until it stops calibrating. When it's done, press save. Now you are ready to set up your keybinds and start gaming.